A dive under the Arctic is only worth a spacewalk. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I think of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin coming out of their lunar module when they first set foot on the moon, discovering totally unknown surroundings like the upside down world that's around us. We've walked near the pole. It's like a sea of mercury or liquid nitrogen. While Sam gets ready for his takeoff, Benoit and I celebrate our 40th dive of the month. Continue right side up, with our feet on the ground, as they say. In one of the canyons, life comes toward It's like encounters of the third kind. Here's an amphipod, just released from the ice. There's the cryopelagic arctic cod, Arctogadus glacialis. The world's most boreal fish exists all on its own within the layers of ice. To complete the picture, a narcomedusa jellyfish, a very rare species, observed only at 2,000 meters by robotic submarines until now. When we finally come across the undisputed resident of these waters, Sam looks like a giant next to it, a sea angel. It is the living image of the Arctic in all its beauty and fragility. It's like a vision of unknown galaxies, or like the creation of the world, for Beroe Kukumis seems to be attracted by us. Like a cosmic vessel from the abyss, Mertensia ovum with rainbow colored filaments illuminates the ocean. Allez, voilà